Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20. I've had a couple requests based on my most recent video about Equivalent Exchange. A few people would like to see how to install Equivalent Exchange along with Buildcraft. Um, what's probably tricking some people up is there are some uh, ID conflicts between the two mods. It's actually pretty easy to resolve, but I figured I'd do this quick video to show you guys how it all works and what to do. So you can see my uh, Minecraft directory over here is currently empty. I just dropped my last login file there and my options text file. Those are optional. You can just start with an empty Minecraft folder or not even any one at all. Go ahead and launch your Minecraft executable. It's going to download everything that it needs for a fresh clean install. It's always a good idea to start with a fresh clean install. If you're concerned about losing anything, um, you should probably back up this whole .minecraft folder. I have a whole separate folder set up to, to back up my Minecraft stuff. So go ahead and let that run. And now that it's downloaded everything, you can see it's up and running and good to go. At this point, you want to just close out of Minecraft. Now we need to install a couple preliminary mods. Uh, the best way to do this is um, go into your bin folder and find your Minecraft jar. You're going to want to open this guy up. Uh, I like to use 7-zip. It's a free zip utility um, and it works just great. Just choose open archive here and there's your Minecraft jar file. Now there's a couple things you need to install. First, you're want to going to grab mod loader, which you can find online pretty much required for almost every class, almost every mod. And you're going to grab these files and just left click and drag them into here and choose yes. Do the same for mod loader MP. Audio mod. And finally Minecraft Forge, which is uh, similar to I guess uh, one of the other API type things. There's a couple different uh, mods that help you use other mods. Um, this is gaining a lot of popularity. Buildcraft right now uses it. Equivalent Exchange has a, uh, a version that works with it. Um, a lot of mod creators are singing its praises and since I'm not much of a Java programmer I don't know but I've heard great things about it. So there you go. So that's the last thing you want to copy in there. So now that we've got pretty much audio mod, Minecraft Forge, and the two mod loaders in there. You can go ahead and close out of your minecraft.jar file. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. Go back in here. You're going to want to delete your meta inf folder out of here. This guy uh, will cause your game to crash if you don't do it. So if you had launched Minecraft right now, your game would uh, just black screen. That's because you didn't delete this folder. So go ahead and delete that. Okay, now we're done with the Minecraft. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and launch our Minecraft game again. Log in. Alright, now that we've logged in, you can see a couple things were added to our Minecraft folder. The mods folder, the config folder, and these modloader.txt. Modloader.txt is going to show you any problems that you have when you launch the game. Um, so just launching it vanilla like this created those folders for us. I'm going to go ahead and close out. Now we want to go into our mods folder. You're going to want to put the equivalent exchange, the Forge version that you downloaded, go into that folder. There's a readme in here, but it basically tells you um, to go into your Minecraft folder, copy mods here, and copy resources here as well. And what that's going to do is the mods is what gives you the mod itself. You can see it put a zip file in there. Uh, mod loader is going to read that zip file and incorporate the mod into your game. And the resources file um, is a bunch of sound effects. So any uh, unique sound effects to um, equivalent exchange forge are what's going to um, work because of the audio mod that you put on, as well as the dropping the files into the resources there. We can also do our build craft. Forgot to grab those ahead of time, but there you go. There's your, um, you know, you can get whatever you want out of these, but I grabbed uh, all four of the expansions to build craft. Go ahead and copy that guy over here. Um, I'll do recipe book as well. If we go in here, you can see there's uh, some things. You can just put the whole folder in your mods folder there. And I like the extra build craft pipes. That's a uh, neat little mod. It just adds a couple more pipes to build craft. I like to drop that guy in there as well. These are all available online to download. I'm not going to do too many items right now. It requires going into the Java, uh, the Minecraft jar again. I don't feel like doing that. So now, if we go ahead and launch Minecraft, 
can see I'm having some trouble connecting to Minecraft.net here. I'm just going to choose play offline. Uh, the game's probably going to crash right now. And lo and behold, it did. I mentioned earlier that the modloader.txt is going to capture any of this crash info. So let's go ahead and open that up real quick. And you can see that the oil still ID is already in use. So let's go into the buildcraft folder under config and open up your buildcraft.cfg file. Um, I did this a little bit earlier and I found out that it was pretty much buildcraft that was causing the problem. There's a uh, item oil moving and oil still that are trouble. So just because I've done this before and I figured out what IDs work for me, it might work for you if you have different mods installed. I determined that 166 is good for oil moving, and because of the way Buildcraft works, um, you're going to want your oil still number to be exactly one digit above your oil moving, so I made that 167. I think that's the only ones I had to move. We're also going to want to modify this power framework here. If you want to use the new version of Buildcraft that has those um, engines going on, you're going to want to change this framework line. Uh, it's all uh, mentioned in the Buildcraft forum post, so I'm going to change that real quick. So let's go ahead and save this guy, close out, and we're going to try and launch Buildcraft again. Go ahead and log in here. So I've installed TMI. You can check out. Oh, there's all the cool stuff that you get from the equivalent exchange mod. Here's some items that are part of the Buildcraft mod. Here's my recipe book that I installed. And if I start flipping through here, you can see there's pages and pages of stuff. So there's all the stuff. You can see it's all working. So basically, the, the problem most people were having, I guess, was the uh, the, the two ID files. The, um, the, oil, the oil in uh, Buildcraft conflicts with the ID number here for equivalent exchange. So I hope that helped you guys out, and I will catch you all later.